Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. We're going to take a moment and demonstrate Braille study mode for you. And Braille study mode can be a really useful tool for teachers who want to perhaps assign some work home with students. Uh, and for people who are learning Braille either themselves or they're just encountering Braille symbols that they don't remember the meaning to. And Braille study mode uh, is part of JAWS. It travels with you everywhere and it's easily, uh, it can be easily invoked right from your Braille keyboard. So I'm going to begin by writing a sentence. And this sentence is composed entirely of, of contracted Braille, one and two cell word signs and part word signs. Dots dot five th space low g space dots four five six m space p space st sign and sign ing sign space u r sign dots four six d low d space. I've entered my sentence. You heard Jaws speak the symbols as I was entering them on the Braille keyboard. I'm going to have Jaws read the entire sentence. There were many people standing around. So there were many people standing around. As a fluent Braille reader, you wouldn't have a problem with this, but let's pretend for a moment that I'm just learning Braille. And I'm looking at this sentence, and I see some of the words I recognize, some of them I don't. There's a two-cell word sign here. It's dots four, five, six, followed by the letter M. If I don't know what that word sign is, I can ask JAWS to help me. So, I would do that by pressing and holding one of the two nav mode buttons, which are the buttons just above the nav rockers. The nav rockers are located at either end of the braille line. If you can see the video, you can see my fingers on the nav rocker. Right above each nav rocker is the nav mode button. I'll press and hold the nav mode button, and then I'll press a cursor router key above the symbol that I want to identify. And then I'll release both keys. That's four, five, six. Dots four, five, six. Okay. And then I can do that over the next character. M. So that's four, five, six, M. That didn't really tell me what this is. It's a two syllable word sign. It's composed of dots four, five, six, M. My fingers can tell me that same thing. So if the information I've gotten from JAWS isn't sufficient just by identifying the Braille signs or Braille symbols that are on the display, I can press and hold the selector button. The selector buttons are the two buttons on the front panel of the Focus Braille display whose tops are concave or dished shaped. So there's a selector button immediately to the left of the two shift buttons and immediately to the right of the two shift buttons is the other selector button. So to identify this word, remember it's dots 4, 5, 6, M, I'm going to hold the selector button down just like I held the nav mode button and I'm going to press a cursor router above the word. It doesn't really matter which cursor router I press. You'll see why. So I'll press the cursor router and then I'm going to release both buttons. Many. M -A -N -Y space. So JAWS has identified the word many and spelled it out for us. So we know that the two cell word sign dots 456M is the word many. Let's take another word which is an example of how Braille study mode can identify each symbol individually and we can figure out what the word is by doing just a little bit of detective work. I'm going to start with the word standing. We're going to use the nav mode button and the cursor router keys just like we did a moment ago. So let's start with that first symbol in the word standing. I'm going to press the nav mode button and then the cursor router button. ST sign. Let's do that to the next character. And sign. If you didn't understand, Jaw said and sign or and sign. And then finally, ing sign. So st sign, and sign, ing sign. You can figure out by putting that together, we have the word standing. Let's take one more example. There's a low G. If I don't know what the low G is, I know it's a one cell word sign, but I'm not sure what it is. Let's go ahead and do what we did before. We're going to press a selector button. I'll press the one on the right this time because I can use either one. I'll press and hold the selector button. I'll press the cursor router button right above that low G. That dots two, three, five, six. Here we go. W-E-R-E space. Word. And it says space. And let me show you one more cool feature that incorporates both a regular JAWS feature and Braille study mode. Let's start with the word there. Now we all know it's T-H-E-R-E. -E. We know it's at the beginning of a sentence. 
Let's force JAWS to spell this whole word for us. Again, I'm going to press, in this case, the left selector button. Remember, it doesn't matter which one. And a cursor router button above the word there. Ready? Here we go. T-H-E-R-E -E space. So JAWS said there. But you notice the pitch change. Let me do it one more time. There. T-H-E-R-E -E space. The letter T was rather high. T-H-E-R-E. -E. That indicates that the T is capitalized. Okay. So again, we get another little clue about this word there. And if you look at it in Braille above my finger, you'll notice there's a dot six in front of the word there. So we know it's capitalized, right? And if I press down, remember, the nav mode button and the cursor router button above that first Braille symbol? Dot six. It's a dot six. Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. To stay up to date on upcoming webinars and training events, complete the sign-up form at freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. Thanks again for connecting with us.